So having played around with some uh, color balance settings, uh, you can see I've now got an image where the match is pretty good between the rabbit and also the chick in the background. Now the one problem we've got here which makes it look less realistic is that there's a kind of shadow down here on the chick on the underside and we haven't got the same amount of shadow reflected here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a shadow there using the burn tool. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm in this layer and I can either do this freehand uh, like so. So I can just make that darker down there and you can already see that kind of looks better. So what I've done is I've selected the burn tool here and then I've made my brush a larger size and I can also change the hardness of the brush in which case it will kind of grade in like that and it looks you know quite nice uh, if you do too much just undo simply and then uh, give it another go again yeah so uh, that now looks like it's graded a bit, be bit better the ear up here needs a highlight you can see this brightness on the back of the chick here and uh, that kind of stops when it gets the rabbit so instead of dodge we sorry instead of burn we can use the dodge tool and let's uh, use the uh, dodge tool with a uh, slightly smaller brush not much smaller just like that and what I can do is I can then just go onto here and I can also change the hardness of the brush so it's less sort of harsh and I can carry on the highlight of the chick onto the rabbit there uh, and maybe just put a little bit on the top of the head here and you can see now it's sort of blending in a bit nicer with the chick and you're struggling a bit more to see where the join is so, dodge and burn just allow for highlighting and darkening the image. You can apply it either to the midtones, the shadows, or the highlights. So, if I go into the highlights here, it will make the highlights a lot brighter. So, I could just do this again. If I go too much or I want a softer brush, I can uh, just adjust it up here. There we are, and you can see that's actually rather too much, so you just need to take it back and then try again. So if I go for a very soft brush, quite a large size, then that will highlight it more gradually, like so. As an end result, I'm fairly pleased with that. It takes a bit of playing around, it takes a bit of practice, but hopefully you should be able to do this too. You have got a homework set for this lesson, and that homework is to create a mythical beast. A mythical beast. So there's all sorts of beasts in myths, griffins, manticores, minotaurs, mermaids, and so on. And you are going to use these techniques to create your own mythical beast. It could be an actual one from myth, or you could make up your own. The idea is to make it look as realistic as possible. Thank you very much, and I'll see you all next time.